Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, second video. So uh, here we go again then, this is uh, version 2 of uh, our 10 to 14 day. We will have a look at whether next 10 to 14 days in this video. Day 10 will take us to, let's make sure the sounds work, yes. Day 10 is going to take us to um, the 12th of December. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that, the extended GFS and ECL ensembles. And may run to around a couple of weeks. So we'll have a look at CFS E2 for the next four weeks at the end of the video as well um so yeah you probably saw the video pop up a moment ago or a few minutes ago uh and uh, you went to watch it and realized that there was no sound because i uh, on the last video i recorded which was winter forecast at the end of that i mute the mic so uh i forgot to unmute it uh this morning but there we go these things happen don't they especially to yav so um yeah uh, sorry about that everybody right so uh we shall get on with um 10 to 14 day for you in a moment just say that first video you see was our 7 a.m uh upload and um also we've got premiere tonight of winter forecast we're another winter forecast we're premiering that uh tonight and don't worry there's no sound from <laughs> with that i've checked it and uh, the sound is all okay um with that so yeah i shall see you for our premiere for the winter 2021-2022 forecast um tonight and that will be coming up at 7 p.m i'll be in the live chat with you all and we'll watch it together it's going to be great uh, please like, share, subscribe on all of, all of the videos. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And hope you're having a lovely Thursday, a better Thursday than me. Um, right, okay, let's crack on with the video then. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. Uh, right, so sensing temperature, just to confirm that the CT came in at 7.3 for November. That's 0.7 of a degree uh, above average. So not too far from average, really. Uh, 61 to 99, she's a little bit above, but not much. And um, for uh, 81 to 2010 and 91 to 20, uh, it is virtually average. Um, December, very mild for the first day at 7.3. Two and a half degrees above average as provisional to uh, yesterday, to the first, of course, just for one day of the month. That's going to come down uh, quite a bit over the next few days uh, because we are in cold weather at the moment. I'm going to stay pretty cold into the weekend. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next week, so Northampton today, red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Northampton. We're starting off below average at the moment. We're going to find the upper air temperature just teeing up overnight and into tomorrow. As we bring low pressure through, and then the upper air temperatures drop again as we go through weekend and into the early part of next week. There's a bit of a warming trend appearing around the middle part of uh, December, so we might start to see things get a little bit milder around mid-month. But for the next week or so, it looks quite chilly. At times, it could be quite cold, actually. Precipitation-wise, there's going to be regular bouts of rain uh, coming through, especially over the next week or so. It looks really quite wet and could be stormy. More about that in a moment uh, next week. Maybe a bit of a drying trend as well around the middle of the month, so high pressure perhaps uh, involved with this lift-up in the temperature. If that happens, then of course it may not be overly warm on the surface if we're under an area of high pressure, but it will depend where the high pressure is originating from and uh, what the air mass with that high pressure is like. Temperature anomalies on the 2nd to 10th of December, they're coming out a little bit below average. Precipitation anomalies from the, uh, the 2nd to 10th of December, coming out wet and average in the north and near normal uh, down in the south. The latest wind flow map from earthnollschool.net shows that we're still pulling in cold northerly today, but wind direction will be changing again later on, turning back into west just for a day, uh, and then over the weekend we can go back into cold northerlies once more. So the UK Met Euro is looking for midnight on sunny. Low pressure in the North Sea pulling in these cold northerly winds. So, so quite cold over the weekend. Early next week, we get this deepening area of low pressure developing to the west of Ireland. That starts to bring in wet and windy weather, maybe stormy weather through the uh, middle part of next week. That was like a very significant area of low pressure indeed. A proper Atlantic storm blasting away there. And that takes up to midnight on Thursday when it does look really, really unsettled with uh, low pressure properly plowing in from off the Atlantic. Uh, GFS midnight run, uh, looking like this, low pressure getting in the North Sea, pulling in these cold northerly winds on Sunday, and then get this ridge building through the country as we go through into uh, Monday, deepening area of low pressure out to the, uh, this is the GFS midnight run, I said that, didn't I? Uh, deepening area of low pressure to the west of Ireland of the UK, 
uh, on uh, on midnight on Tuesday, sweeps into the country by midnight on Wednesday. So again, looks pretty stormy around the middle part of next week with a GFS midnight run. Uh, heading up towards Daytown, we keep the Atlantic onslaught going. So further battering coming up up to Daytown with uh, low pressure in off the Atlantic. I've got a long flex southwesterly bow on day 10 as well, uh, so that is really mild. In my same range, the uh, GFS Midnight Run looking like that. So, um, you know, stays unsettled, stays mild, uh, gets milder actually around the middle part of the month, and then we finish up building in an area of high pressure, big area of high pressure, 1,045 millibars. That's as far as we get to with the GFS Midnight Run. That's to the 18th of December. Let's have a look at GFS 6 there. And again, got the winds in from the north on Sunday. Cold northerly winds then uh, into the early part of next week. Looks stormy. This deep area of low pressure, a little bit further southwards. Um, but still bring the battery in a very strong winds, gale force winds and heavy rain. Uh, through the middle part of next week, that one. Uh, and then we go off up towards day 10 and we keep that Atlantic battering going. And that carries on into the extending range as well. It gets milder to as heights rise to the south. And we pull up potentially a very mild southwesterly wind for the middle part of December. On to the GM, and um, again, we've got low pressure in the uh, North Sea. Uh, tomorrow, bringing in a cold northerly uh, wind, and that carries on into the uh, weekend as well. Uh, for instance, open up next week again, low pressure giving us a battering deep air of low pressure sweeps in off the Atlantic. That looks quite stormy for the middle part of next week. And then we get up towards day 10, and we, we, the onslaught just goes on really with a GM. Again, very wet and windy for this deep air of low pressure in the Norwegian Sea uh, or in the southern um, Norwegian Sea to Atlantic. And uh, that's bringing further wet and windy weather uh, into the ECMWF. Again, winds are in from the north on Sunday. And then we go through to the part of next week. Again, same story, battering uh, with that over low pressure from Tuesday into Wednesday. Um, looks very intense area of low pressure indeed. That uh, low gets out of the way, so it fills and moves away. Uh, but we keep the unsettled weather going up to day 10, looking wet and windy. I'm becoming a little bit milder as well, with winds going in to the southwest. All options are looking very unsettled. Uh, out to day 10. Uh, this is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from tometcho.com. Showing a little bit of snow tonight across parts of England and Wales. I think it's a little bit overdone, probably. But there might be a few flakes around before it turns quickly back to rain. And then uh, we've got more unsettled weather coming up into the weekend as well. Further wintry showers in places. And then early next week, the uh, ECM actually has a snow event going on there. Through most parts of the country, bringing snow down to southern England quite a bit through like the Midlands, northern England, up to Scotland. Um, that gets out of the way and then going to stormy weather around the middle of next week. So a real battering. Look how intense that area of low pressure is for the middle of next week. Snow in the north, heavy rain uh, in the south and uh, severe gales of parts of the country as well. And we keep the unsettled weather rolling on into uh, day 10. So that's how we look as we get to day 10, which should bring lots of heavy rain in across England and Wales. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 12th of December. We have 26 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure over to the west of the country. And we're bringing in Atlantic-driven weather. Very unsettled and potentially even a bit stormy. 14 members of the ECM ensembles again. Low pressure to the north and bringing in strong westerly winds. So that's going to be... Very unsettled too. And then 11 with lower pressure. Just a little bit further away from us. Higher pressure up towards Scandinavia. And winds kind of like a little bit more easterly there. Um, so that's uh, starting to try and get wind into the east from Scandinavian high. However, the majority of options are looking uh, wet, windy and probably quite stormy uh, around day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 17th of December. It looks quite interesting, this. 20 members of the ECO ensembles with low pressure way to our northwest, high pressure ridging through the country and up to Scandinavia. That's going to be dry and potentially cold as the air is drifting in from off the continent. Uh, number 20 with high pressure to the south and low pressure to the north. Winds are flat and westerly uh, with that. So that's kind of like what the GFS operations are going for, midnight and six there, uh, by that sort of 17th, 18th December period. And then we have 11 here that have a fully formed and uh, operational uh, Scandinavian high, and that's bringing in like a proper easterly uh, with those. So it does also be ECM ensembles and move have uh, moved more towards you know, uh, like Scandinavian highs uh, into, say, half of December, and consequently colder weather. 
But we shall see. That's a long way off. It's two weeks away. So we shall see if uh, anything comes of that. Finally, CFSC 2 is a 500 mm bar height. Spread down to meet Pierce. The first week, Pierce takes from the second to the eighth of December. The coming week, we'll have low pressure over to the East Country. High pressure pulled out to west. And winds will be coming from quite a cold, northerly direction. Uh, into week two, uh, we look like that. It's the night to 15th of December with low pressure again away to the northwest and winds coming in from the west. So that's unsettled and a bit milder. Uh, week three looks very mild. This is Pacific to 22nd of December running up to Christmas. Heights rise to the south. Low pressure gets pushed northwards and winds go in to a southwesterly direction. And then uh, week four is going to be the 23rd to 29th of December. With high pressure right in over top of the country. That's turning drier. And under the high pressure, potentially is a little bit colder as well. Maybe some frost and fog. Uh, the crystal's giving a little bit of a seasonable feel. But it would depend on the origin of the high pressure and the exact nature of the air mass associated with it. It's four weeks away anyway, so it's subject to change, obviously. Right, so <laughs> that is the second uh, version of this 10 to 14 day of done and does. I think that one went okay, hopefully. Fingers crossed it did anyway. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, please give us a sub. But don't forget to tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to be back at 7 for our premiere. So uh, I shall see you on the red carpet for that. And we should watch the premiere together. And uh, it's going to be a very, very interesting winter forecast. So uh, I'll see you at seven. But you enjoy the rest of your Thursday afternoon. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching.